about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. They call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's V. And what? No pleased to meet yous? Hm. I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. Johnny, did you see what happened? Something feels off here. You don't say. Don't mean the wreck. I mean the run. City's most courteous chauffeur ups and drives away from the scene of an accident. Thank you. 
Akako Akata, the Lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then. got that ear to the ground. Siempre. Anyway, you need something. You know what? crash on your ass. You hear me? He'll run you out of biz. Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? Fuck you, Cirque Brain! Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Uh, hey, Dell. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of service? Hey, hey. What's got into you, Dell? Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamain network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Don't give him any numbers. Uh, 77-011-01096. Incident report on file. Confirmed. 96 at the end. It's a public enemy. Government target. Your identity has been established. Mr. Hans Jonas, what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number 77111110096? Yeah, prime accident. I shit green apples. Now get me the real Delamain. V, my apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Bah! Special treatment. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? Sure, let's talk. Then please, follow the drone. I'm fully aware customer service is less than satisfactory at the moment. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. And here is where the magic happens. The shop is fully automated. I'm pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services. Alas, the shop is currently overwhelmed with work. Think I know why. I'm still looking into the cause of the Delamay network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. The control room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, surprisingly. All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? 
This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Okay, sure. I'll go after your missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person. City Center? V. Yeah, I know. Heard about you. Odd stuff. Need anything, you call me. Remember, Dino knows everybody. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, vi. together only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan, and they call you me. See, no introductions necessary. I already took care of that. Someone comes to me with beers, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe beers. Remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, I need fresh wheels, bikes, I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up any time, you hear?
table, we got to get rid of it. Really? He's pretty mass. V. Nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? Wouldn't mind one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Been better to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night, when Jackie fell. Let's just say things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Could help you with that. Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. And a friend, uh, what's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed. Our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Sure some beard be at the top of Jackie's list. <laughs> and there will be beer. I want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm -hmm. But something I'd lay by his casket, that would do justice to his memory, I, I don't got anything. Mm. But your heart is in the right place, mi niño. Don't worry, he's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. Hi, V. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just, well... Human. I guess. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe. But that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. No, Jack was a little of that, too. Always looking on the bright side. He wore his heart on his sleeve. And wasn't at all afraid to live fully. Had his inner demons, though. Who doesn't? Exactly. They're what makes us who we really are on the inside. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. You mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon? No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things. Disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie would want you here. That's more important. Come on. Locked. I wonder what.
what's in there. That's his lair. He slept there. He must have had a different key. Let's look around. Might be tucked away somewhere? Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. That's definitely why they're up there. Yeah. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it's a miracle he never wiped out. Gotta be hanging here since 2020. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie. Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times, always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. Have you read it? Is it any good? I... <laughs> I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Jack, pure and simple. Well, you got something for your Ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. Better get going. Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. You gotta come, Misty. You got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So? Shall we go? You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning... I'll see you at the Coyote then. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. Then go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. V, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, v. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot. 
three times. Just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, No te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying. Make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true. Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, 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 honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It all started when he put a heater to my head. Then some badges showed up and beat the shit out of us both. <laughs> it's half my fault. Half his, and we hightailed it out together. Half an hour later, well, we're eating dinner at Mama Wells. Turned out to have more in common than we thought. Principles. Jackie Wells. Best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind to something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He once told me, Broder, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. Kept Haywood in his heart, always. It made him who he was. But most importantly, Jackie loved life and had no fear. Hard on his sleeve, he didn't overthink things. He just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof, and, and that he'd become legend. When you go to war as a boy, I would or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful friend that we gave him. Pour you another for Jaquito. I see the Valentinos haven't forgotten about Jackie. Days like this. Poor. 